Hi guys welcome to the 7th to 10th episode's recap of the K-drama The Worst of Evil. With a plot spoiler alert let's get to it. At the police station, Jun Mo provokes Min Gu and manages to get him to beat him. Just at that moment, Chung Sik arrives with Chief Lee and other high-ranking officials to find Jun Mo getting severely beaten by Min Gu. Chung Sik then has Jun Mo sign a contract in which he agrees not to sue the police for the assault and releases him. Outside the police station, Jun Mo finds John Rul waiting for him. On their way back, John Rul expresses his distress over Ji Chol choosing Jun Mo instead of him. He attempts to persuade Jun Mo to share information about Ji Chol's business dealings and the people he encountered at the hotel. Jun Mo admits that the meetings are related to drug trading, and Ji Chol chose him because of his familiarity with the area due to his father's drug addiction. Jun Mo also mentions that they need to position themselves like Jung Bae and Hee Sung to make good money. So he provokes John Rol, suggesting that he deserves a higher position within the organization for all the work he does, and that they should be willing to push someone out, if they are not letting him in. While dining, Jung Bae becomes suspicious of how Jun Mo got out so easily, and the chief prosecutor walk in just in time to see him getting beaten up by Min Gu. When Jung Bae suspects that Jun Mo had Yu Jong's help in getting released, Ji Chol defends Jun Mo, saying that Jun Mo took care of everything for them. Jun Mo then asks Ji Chol about his meeting with the Chinese. Ji Chol proposes to Jun Mo to try talking to Hair On because she seems to like him, which surprises them all. Later Jun Mo meets with Du Hong and Chung Sik and tells them about the recent events. To Jun Mo's frustration, Chung Sik insists on catching Ji Chol and his gang while doing the trade, even though they have managed to establish the link between Ji Chol, Hair On, and Oyama. So Jun Mo agrees to meet Hair On, but tells them to take care of Jung Bae, since he seems to be very suspicious of him. Thinking that Yu Jong is still sad after her mother's passing, Ji Chol goes to see his mother Yu Sung Ork. He asks her to organize a memorial service for Yu Jong's mother in the church she used to go. The next day, Jun Mo makes a call to Hae Ron and offers to take her sightseeing. Hae Ron shows him some drugs they've bought from one of Ji Chol's sellers, and proves to him that Ji Chol is selling their product in Korea, under the brand name Gundam Crystal, which is meant to be sent to Japan. So she refuses to do business with Ji Chol because he has broken their trust. Jun Mo also learns that the drug could be bought at Tehora Cafe, which is Ji Chol's recently opened nightclub. So Jun Mo offers to be the carrier and promises that he would ensure that their products are not sold elsewhere. Cheng Bei on the other hand goes to meet with Jin Peng and asks him to fact check the relationship between Yu Jong and Song Ho, particularly if they really live next door to each other. Jin Peng informs Ji Chol about Jung Bei's visit. Jun Mo meets with Du Hong and tells him the reason Hae Ron is refusing to work with Ji Chol. So they decide to first stop the trading in Korea and use the chance to capture Jung Bae as well. Jung Bae gets arrested by the police while he is in Taehora Cafe. While he is in the police station, the police ransack the club and arrest everyone who sells drugs. The police also make it appear to the sellers that it was Jung Bae who informed on them. After holding him in the police station the police release Jung Bae, stating that he was arrested as a witness. When he returns to Ji Chol and the others, they assume that Jung Bae confessed to drug selling, and that is why the club got raided, despite Jung Bae's efforts to convince them that he didn't say anything to the police. Lee Hung Jin, who is one of the sellers, storms into the room while Jung Bae is with Ji Chol and the others, and lashes out at him for ratting him out to the police. Ji Chol demands everyone to leave the room except for Jung Bae, and confronts him about another ledger book he had with records of the drugs that he sold behind Ji Chol's back. The two have a heartbreaking confrontation, and Jung Bae lashes out at Ji Chol for being blinded because of Jun Mo and Yu Jong. When he leaves, Jong Rol follows him to the elevator. The two get into a violent fight, and Jong Rol severely beats up Jung Bae and warns him never to come back. Jun Mo gets a call from Hae Ron while he is with Ji Chol, and Ji Chol tries to convince her that all her concerns about them have been taken care of. So she decides to meet with Jun Mo and go on a day before continuing their trade. Ji Chol then meets with Yu Jong and takes her to the church they used to go to. When she gets inside, she is touched to see that the church has organized a memorial for her mother. After the memorial, Ji Chol overhears the woman talking to Yu Jong and realizes that she has been living in Seoul since childhood and was never in the neighborhood of Song Ho. So he makes a call to Jin Peng and asks him to continue the investigation about Yu Jong that Jung Bae asked him to do. Jin Peng first goes to Chief Lee to get information, so Chief Lee informs Chung Sik about Jin Peng looking for Yu Jong's background and the places where her father has worked. Learning that Ji Chol is with Yu Jong and holding her until he verifies the facts, Jun Mo hurries off to meet Jin Peng. Jin Peng learns the real identity of Jun Mo is not Sung Ho, and that he is married to Yu Jong. As he leaves with the documents, he runs into Jun Mo. Jun Mo and Jin Peng go to a rooftop to talk, and while Jun Mo tries to get the documents from Jin Peng, Jin Peng tries to escape and ends up falling off the rooftop to his death. Ji Chol finally lets Yu Jong head back home when he doesn't receive a call from Jin Peng. He goes to Jin Peng's office and learns that Jin Peng has had an accident and died. Jun Mo goes straight to Du Hong and Chung Sik in shock after seeing Jin Peng dying in front of him, and on seeing the documents of him and Yu Jong, that they nearly escaped from getting their identities exposed. 
Wu Zhang learns about what happened and that Jun Mo is in shock. So she makes a call to Ji Chol and suggests meeting on the next day. Ji Chol assigns Yang Dei, one of Ji Chol's men, to look into what Jin Pan was doing on the day he died. The next day, Jun Mo gets ready to go on a date with Heron. As he is about to leave with Heron, Wu Zhang arrives to meet with Ji Chol, and both Jun Mo and Wu Zhang are shocked to see each other with their partners. Ji Chol takes Wu Zhang into his office and shows her around. We see that both Wu Zhang and Ji Chol are prepared and are carrying a gun. He then takes her to a construction site of the Free International City, which is Ji Chol's development project. To Wu Zhang's horror, Ji Chol receives a call from Yang Dei with the information about Jin Peng's death. Yang Dei reads out the documents Jin Peng was carrying at the time of his death. Apparently Cheng Sik and Du Hong have already managed to alter the documents, and Ji Chol confirms that Yu Zhang and Song Hong were neighbors. In relief, Ji Chol gives Yu Zhang a necklace. Yang Dei on the other hand has fallen for the records clerk Ms. Zhou. So he goes back with flowers to see her again. When he gets there, he finds Du Hong with her to thank her, but Du Hong quickly leaves before Yang Dei could get a better look at him. Min Gu also learns about Jin Peng's death and that he was working for Ji Chol. So Min Gu and Detective Go decide to inspect the crime scene themselves. There he finds Jun Mo's lighter. On their way back, Wu Zhang asks Ji Chol whether he suspects her because she is a police officer and admits that she looked into the missing case of Kung Chol. She also tells him that she doesn't care about what he is doing and that she would give her support even as a police officer to him so that he could make his dreams come true. She also tells him that she is in love with him and the two shares a kiss. Zhang Rou and He Seng on the other hand, follow Oyama on Ji Chol's orders and see him meeting with Kisu. Jun Mo again brings up their deal well with Heron, so she tells him that she has decided to double the price and wants to double the amount as well. Heron also tells him that she wants to do business with him and not with Ji Chol and demands him to make a decision himself when he tries to contact Ji Chol. So Jun Mo decides to accept Heron's offer. Just then, Heron informs Kung Sun to inform her father that she wants to continue business with Ji Chol but to switch the carrier to Jun Mo. Kung Sun informs Heron's father, Osun, but he refuses to work with Ji Chol and tells Kung Sun that Ji Chol will be attacked at night. Ji Chol on the other hand takes Yu Zhang back to his office and introduces her to everyone as his future wife. He Seng and Zhang Rel get shocked to hear this, so they call him over and try to reason with him but she is a cop. Wu Zhang eavesdrops on the conversation and overhears them talking about the Japanese joining forces with Kiso. To He Seng's disappointment, Ji Chol tells him that Yun Mo is taking care of it. While with Yu Zhang, Ji Chol tells her that after his mother was arrested for killing his father, he and his sister Min Ju were taken to an orphanage. Because they were bullied for being the children of a murder, Ji Chol escaped from the orphanage with his sister. So he chose the path of evil to survive. But after meeting Yu Zhang again, he now wants to change his life and become a good person. Hei Ran on the other hand, confesses to Jun Mo that she likes him and asks him to spend the night with her or else their deal is off. Desperate to continue the deal, Jun Mo agrees to it. To Jun Mo's relief, Kung Sun walks into the room while they're together and informs Hei Ran that Osun has chosen to work with Jajin Group and Ji Chol's office will be attacked by Kisu's men. Hei Ran tells Jun Mo about it, so Jun Mo hurries off to the Gundam Union. He tries to warn Yu Zhang on his way, but because she doesn't pick up, he informs Zhang Rol about it. By the time Jajin's men have already arrived at the building and started attacking Gundam Union, Ji Chol takes Yu Zhang into a room and goes to fight the men, and we get to the opening scene of the drama. Jun Mo tries to get Yu Zhang and angrily slutters men on his way. Wu Zhang gets horrified on seeing Jun Mo's brutality. After the fight, Heron walks in saying that she has decided to do business with him, even though her father has refused to. Oyama on the other hand waits with Kiso, anticipating the news of Ji Chol's death. To their surprise, Ji Chol and others walk into their room. Ji Chol angrily tells Oyama to relay the message to Kanemoto that he wants a personal apology from him, or else he will not get the drugs. The next day Cheng Sik meets with the commissioner and asks him to keep the news of the war between Gundam Union and Jajin Group out of the news until they finish the investigation. Min Gu on the other hand gets suspicious that the news of the fight between the two gangs didn't spread and confronts Ji Chol about it. He also brings up about Jin Peng's death and that the last call Jin Peng had before he died was with Ji Chol. Min Gu also shows him the lighter he found at the crime site, but Ji Chol doesn't recognize it. On his way out, he runs into Jun Mo and tosses the lighter at him, saying he dropped it at the police station, but Jun Mo tells him that it is not his lighter. Jun Mo convinces Ji Chol and others that they should settle things with Oyama, because if they refuse to do business with them, they will have no place to sell the extra drugs they have. Jun Mo goes to meet Oyama and convinces him to resume the trade and takes him to Ji Chol. Min Gu goes to check on Kisu and scoffs at him for getting beaten up by Ji Chol and Jun Mo. He also learns from one of Kisu's men that Yankees have been selling drugs to a person named Dodgers, and he has been arrested during the raid at Tehora Cafe. So Min Gu goes to the detention center and releases Dodger using his influence. He then takes Dodger to a remote baseball pitch and tortures him and learns about Yankee's girlfriend Wendy. Dodgers then takes him to see Wendy, but finds that she has fled. 
Kenmoto, on the other hand, goes to see Ji Chol as demanded, but Kenmoto gets offended by the way Ji Chol treats him and becomes angry when Ji Chol decides to increase the price and calls off the deal. As they leave, Kenmoto insults Oyama, calling him a fool, and strips off the badge as well. Frustrated Junmo goes to meet with Heron and asks for her help to convince Kenmoto. So they go together with Oyama to meet Kenmoto. Kenmoto agrees to do business with Junmo instead of Ji Chol and tells him to cut off his finger as a sign to seal their deal. As Junmo struggles to cut off his finger, Oyama's right-hand man, Nishigawa intervenes. Instead of cutting off Junmo's finger, Nishigawa kills Kenmoto as Oyama watches. Oyama then confesses to Junmo and Heron that they will be doing business with Oyama now that Kenmoto is dead. Just then Ji Chol also walks into the room, surprising both Junmo and Heron, and they learn that he was aware of Oyama's plan. Well with Junmo, Ji Chol apologizes to him for not informing him about the Japanese beforehand, and tells him that he is planning to make Junmo in charge of the business, as he is planning to walk away from it. He also tells him that after meeting Wu Zhang, he has wanted to live a decent life because of her, and wants Junmo to take over the business. Ji Chol then attends a promotion of the Free International City, which Ji Chol is planning to construct. To Junmo's frustration, Ji Chol also invites Wu Zhang. During the ceremony, Mingu arrives and urges Ji Chol to turn himself in. He also greets Yu Zhang before leaving. Junmo then sneaks out and makes a call to Du Hong and Cheng Sik, and angrily informs them about Min Gu's continuous interference. Cheng Sik makes a call to Chief Li and tells him to update him on everything Min Gu does. After the event, Ji Chol, Yu Zhang, Junmo, and Heron dine together. The conversation becomes very uncomfortable as the two women begin to retort at each other. Eventually, Heron excuses herself with Junmo. When Heron is with Junmo, she tells him that she plans to live in Korea and has gotten her father's permission as well. Mingu continues the investigation with the help of Baby, Smith, and Dodgers. Dodgers tells them about a person named Meth Park, and according to him, all the drugs go to Meth Park first before going to the customers, and without his verification, no one can sell the drug. Assuming that Yankees might have contacted Meth Park before disappearing, Mingu makes Dodgers contact Meth Park and sets up a meeting. During the meeting, Mingu rests Meth Park. We see that Meth Park is actually Park Jae-mun, who is Junmo's drug-addicted father. Chung Sik learns about Jae Mun's arrest from Chief Lee and tells Du Hung about it. Du Hung recognizes Jae Mun as Jun Mo's father and decides not to inform Jun Mo about it. He goes to meet with Jae Mun and asks Jae Mun not to meet with Min Gu, especially not to tell anything about Jun Mo or Jong. Du Hung then goes looking for Wendy and meets a woman named Wild Rose. Wild Rose tells him that she learned from Wendy that Yankees fled the country to China after being involved in Manager Cho's murder. He also learns Wendy's whereabouts from her and goes to meet Wendy. He convinces Wendy to confess that Yankees is not the one who killed manager Cho but Zhang Rol, in return for helping her have a fresh start. Just as advised, Wendy goes to Min Gu and tells him about Zhang Rol being the one who killed manager Cho. She also agrees to testify later as well. So Min Gu arrests Zhang Rol in front of Ji Chol for the murder of manager Cho. Ji Chol and He Seng are startled by the arrest and assume that Zheng Bei sold them out. Because there is a high risk of getting caught sooner, He Seng suggests importing as much as they can to make a huge profit, so that they can lay low for some time, until Min Gu stops following them. Later, Jun Mo meets with Du Hong, and informs him that Gundam Union will probably import as much as possible. Du Hong gets concerned about all the connections, and the position Jun Mo is in, and reminds him that he is a police officer, and should return to being one. Jun Mo then meets with Heron, and convinces her to increase the amount of products, bringing up about the recent arrest, and the possibility of having to stop the trade for a while. Heron agrees to it, so Osun exhausts his workers and produces drugs to trade in two days. Junmo then learns about the drug trade route and tells Chung Sik and Du Hung about it. They plan to take photos of the trade and arrest them at the port itself. On the day of the trade, Ji Chol, He Sung, and Junmo go fishing and carry out the trade as planned. Meanwhile, Chung Bear returns to Ji Chol's office while they're gone and scoffs at Ji Chol for not listening to him as he sits in his chair. Junmo and Ji Chol head out to sea to complete the trade, and with that the episode ends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.